In August last year, when the government announced the sale of electric two-wheelers and three-wheelers without factory-fitted battery, industry and consumer alike were left a little perplexed. Fast forward to now, we realize that the government was acting with a forethought. And in October this year, the Union Minister for Road Transport and Highways, Nitin Gadkari, told a conclave that 80% of two-wheelers and 30% of private vehicles will be electric by 2030. Battery price makes up as much as 50% of an electric vehicle's cost. An emerging trend to tackle the problem of high cost of EV adoption is battery swapping technology. Reliance BP Mobility signed an agreement with Mahindra & Mahindra earlier this month, which, among other things, will explore battery swapping. The deal came at a time when two of India's biggest state-owned fuel retailers, Indian Oil and Bharat Petroleum, announced their plans to offer charging stations at 17,000 petrol pumps. But some believe that battery swapping is the better alternative to battery charging for a country like India. The biggest worry for any EV buyer is range anxiety or the worry that the battery will run out of power before a charging point is reached and also the time taken in charging them. Battery swapping is designed to eliminate range anxiety as it is easier to set up a dense network of swapping stations even in urban areas. Not just this, electric charging takes time and Indian cities do not have the physical space that can accommodate hundreds of vehicles when EVs become mainstream. Swapping addresses that problem too. Bengaluru-based scooter rental startup Bounce has launched an electric scooter without a battery pack that's priced at just Rs 45,000. This model comes with a subscription to the company's battery as a service product. Customers can stop at any battery swapping station in Bounce's network and instantly replace their depleted batteries with fully charged ready-to-go batteries. Bounce co-founder and CEO Vivekananda discussed with us the merits of battery swapping as compared to charging. Uh, people living in apartments can't charge. People who don't have parking space can't charge. Uh, with battery swapping, you can remove the battery, carry the battery and charge it. So that is our first USP. Our scooters come with removable batteries, one. Uh, as and when people are comfortable with battery swapping as a network, they don't even have to buy the battery. They can pay for the battery per use, like how they pay for fuel. It's not a very new behavior for people to pay as they go. That is why we are bullish on swapping. No charging issues, no infra issues, no waiting time. Range anxiety goes away, right? It, it takes under 10 seconds to swap a battery. Your battery oh. swapping point can be your nearby Kirana store or it, you can be a neighbor. But talking about charging, the biggest challenge is India doesn't have real estate. So imagine millions of vehicles having to wait, even if it's like one minute, right? Forget about 30 minutes, everything. Let's say technology evolved like crazy. Even if they have to wait for one minute, the queuing theory kicks in and the amount of space you need is massive. So at scale, when we are talking about EV becoming mainstream, we don't think for two wheelers charging would work on public charging. Uh, even if it takes under 10 minutes, I think we don't have that kind of real estate in India for there to be enough uh, charging infra. To give you an example, for charging more than 10 scooters in a place, you need a transformer, as in you need additional power capacity. And if you're doing fast charge, you need the 10x the kind of power to fast charge. Uh, I think government has to earmark spaces everywhere uh, so that it becomes a mainstream, right? It should say that every apartment should have a public battery swapping access place, like how ATMs are, right? We are building something like ATM, right, in a way. So yeah. we should start going out and building that ATM kind of thing, right? Uh, where every every mall should have access for this, easy access to park your vehicle, swap and go type, right? We, we are working with central government on standardization. The idea is that it's the same square feet kind of as, uh, as in square centimeters. The charging unit is the same so that it can be interoperable. We are already integrated with multiple OEMs so that they can use our batteries. The idea is to build an infra which everyone can use. Battery swapping will overtake and uh, probably uh, be much more mainstream than charging, at least for two wheelers. With big players like Reliance Industries, BP and Mahindra moving into this space in India, we can expect standardization to evolve soon. Further, several states including Kerala, Karnataka and Maharashtra are providing incentives and subsidies to set up battery swapping stations. In China and in the US, some companies have already set up automated swapping stations for cars which is particularly useful for commercial fleet operators. As for Bounce, it is competing with companies like Aether Energy and Ola Electric, both of which depend on charging networks. Bounce's first electric scooter will hence serve as a test case for the promise the battery swapping technology holds. Just like the e-rickshaws, we may see the proliferation of electric scooters and three-wheelers in the days to come. And the battery swapping technology will only make the transition smoother.
If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.